Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. We're out here on a community work day. We spent all morning uh, clearing brush, stacking brush, making really cool brush piles uh, on a brother's place. Uh, he shot a video. If he puts it up, I'll put a link to it uh, so you all can see it too. Uh, but that's not why I'm here today. Today I'm here to show you the Vaughn 22 ounce hatchet and discuss and show you some modifications I made. This is actually my daughter's. Uh, I liked it so much I bought one for each one of my children, adult children. And if you remember, I did a quick little video on it a little while ago. Uh, it's made by Vaughn. It's available at Walmart uh, for like less than $20, 19 something. Um, and for $19, it's a pretty good little hatchet as it is. You know, it's got a hammer on it. It's a carpenter's hatchet or something. It's in the tool section of Walmart, usually in a cardboard box down on the floor. I've seen it in a couple Walmarts. I look through them and try and get one with, you know, ideally the grain goes this way, but a little bit one way or the other is okay. So you can see this one. Um, and like I said, it's pretty sharp. My daughter's used it a lot already. She's hammered with it. She's chopped with it and stuff like that. And I just wanted to show it to you one more time before I show you mine. So I took this hatchet and I did some playing with it. Here's mine. Same hatchet, same handle, but I worked on it. Here, a little side by side comparison and then I'll tell you what I did. Can you see that? Camouflage is in the way. Look at the handle shape. I changed the handle shape significantly. Um, so let's talk about how I did, what I did, why I did to this one. Hmm. All right, so um, I used, I bought just for the job, this tool right here. It's a metal rasp. I probably got it at that horrible place, Lowe's, um, but it really removes a lot of wood. And uh, I wanted to contour the handle and thin it out and give it more of this shape right here. So I started rasping wood. And then um, down here, I wanted a little bit of a flare like a knob at the end so it feels like it doesn't want to slip out of your hand. Clearly I drilled a hole and put a lantern on it. That's, that's not to put around my hand, it's to hang up on my pegboard. I uh, filed on the inside of here these sharp edges so now when I choke up on it, it doesn't hurt my delicate fingers when I use it like a carving axe and make my kuksa or you know that, excuse me, bushcrafting um, cup, that kind of thing. And then I blacken the blade with the vinegar method. And basically what you do is you lay a pad of uh, paper towels, pour white vinegar on it, fold the towels over, pour white vinegar on it, wrap the whole thing up in aluminum foil, and then I stuck it in a, uh, in a Ziploc bag um, so that you know, it wouldn't get all over the place. And I left it there for overnight. You take it out, wipe it off, and uh, there you go. It's, it's blackened. Something interesting that I found out, you can't really tell. Oh, before I blackened it, I did something. Um, but we're there now, so we're gonna talk about it. You can't really tell by looking at this one, but when you look at this one, you can see the differential heat treatment of the steel, see that? It's harder there, and it's harder here on the edge where the hammer is. Before I did that, I had to get this horrible blue paint off. And first I tried just to use sandpaper and sand it off. Nah, I wasn't going anywhere. And so I wanted to bring it for this video, but I couldn't find it. My wife bought me this spray can of paint remover uh, that was good for the environment and smelled like oranges. And so I sprayed it all over my ax head. It did smell like oranges. And it said, you can leave it on for up to 24 hours. It'll take off up to three layers of stuff. So I left it on there for about two hours, came back with sandpaper, and it wasn't doing anything. And it was all kind of gelled on there. And so I just put it aside. Uh, that was on a Friday. And so I didn't do anything on Shabbat with it. And then on first day, Sunday, I took it out again. And man, that stuff just started coming right off. I actually used a metal uh, brush on it and all this paint came off. And this actually has uh, some kind of coating on it also. It peeled off very thin. I like when you have a blister and you pull the skin off. That, that's on here too. So all of that came off of mine and then I did the vinegar treatment. Then after the vinegar treatment, you can see what I did to the handle there. See that? Contouring differently. Um, 
after the vinegar treatment, I drilled a hole, I stained it. Um, and so this is now one of my bushcraft axes. It's a lot lighter in the hand. It feels better in my hand with this, this lighter handle. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, once this, this uh, dye isn't quite, the stain isn't quite dry yet. And uh, I'm gonna let it dry probably for a couple more days. It's cold. And then I'm gonna put some boiled linseed oil on it. Um, then I'll sharpen the blade, which is already fairly, it comes pretty sharp. I haven't touched this up yet, um, but it's pretty sharp. And then I'll play with it. So that's what I did to the Vaughn 22 ounce ax. I showed it to the millennial man. He's like, oh man, you should sell those. Um, I said, dude, you know, it's only a $20 ax, but I've got hours of work into this thing to make it look this way. He said, well, put a high price on it. See if somebody buys it. Uh, you can do it yourself. That's why I showed you how. This was my main tool. This and a couple different grades of sandpaper, um, some stain and uh, some vinegar to do this. So there you go. Um, I'm going to go hang out with the brethren and talk to them and enjoy some chili and cornbread. And uh, I'll see you out there.